Hello, my amazing artists. Today I'm teaching you a couple colored pencil techniques uh, to help get your drawings. Chef's kiss, amazing and wonderful. So let's get started. The first thing that I have y'all do, I'm gonna have y'all down here. So I'm gonna draw circles to draw in. The first one that I'm gonna do, just so that we can get it out of our system, this is the no, no. I wrote it upside down, but this is how you don't want to color. So this is what we see on some projects. I don't want you to do this. So get your scribble scrabbles out of your system. So these are our scribble scrabbles. It's up and down. It's all over. It's kind of sloppy. This is no, no. We are not going to do that anymore. We are going to have beautiful, pristine drawings. Sorry, I have to sharpen my colored pencils. So get your little scribble scrabble out on the no-no section. That is the last time in Miss Norton's class that you can scribble scrabble. All right, so the next two types we are going to do are the pressure. So I am going to label this one light. I know it's upside down, I'm sorry. But this is light and this is hard. So this is how hard you push down on your pencil. So when you're doing light pressure, I like to hold my pencil back and then to avoid the lines of scribble scrabble, I like to do circular motions. So circular motions help blend it all together and you don't see those up and down lines that you normally see in a drawing. So again, I'm doing very light pressure. I hold my pencil from the back and I'm doing circular motions, circular motions. And then I have very light colored. Now when you're doing hard pressure, I always kid that it's a little tough if you don't go to the gym, if you don't have as strong as muscles as Miss Norton. So you're gonna have to press very hard on your pencil. Don't break the point, but you're gonna get a lot of color. So I'm pressing really hard and I'm doing circular motions. Circular motions, again, to get rid of our scribble scrabble, it blends it all together for us. So I'm doing really hard pressure in circular motions. And you can already tell, like even from far away, how much stronger the color is when you do hard pressure with circular motions. That's what's gonna make it look like it's printed, it's gonna make it look really smooth, hard pressure and circular motions. So again, light, hard. The other type that I like to do, I'm going to do another little circle. So this one I like to call edges. So for this you're going to use different pressures in one circle. So for edges I like to go around the edge using hard pressure and again circular motions. So I go all the way around the shape that I'm coloring in in a circular motion using hard pressure. And then I'm going to loosen my pressure as I get closer to the center. So it's kind of like making a reverse value scale. Well, it's still a value scale, not really reverse. But this way I have a really dark outline and then it's kind of lighter on the inside. So that would be drawing using edges. Um, another one that you can do I'm calling this directional. So this would be a type of line. So you'd still see some white space and you're gonna be doing your lines instead of the circular motions. But the reason it's better than doing scribble scrabbles is the lines will all go in one direction. So you wanna think about the shape that you're coloring in. So like I'm gonna do this circle and I'm gonna do up and down lines, but I'm gonna curve them as I get around the edges. So I'm kind of following the shape but again, I'm doing all my lines in one direction. So it looks intentional, it's not scribble scrabble. They're all in one direction and they kind of follow the shape. So that is how you can have a little bit of the white showing of the paper and still have the lines, but it's all one direction. So it's intentional. Um, the next one I'm going to do is kind of fun. This one is gonna be blending. So this would be taking two colors. So you wanna have a light color pencil and a dark color pencil. So I'm gonna go in with yellow and I'm gonna go really, really dark, really, really dark. Lots of pressure 
on one side of my circle. Sorry guys, I used like a gel pen and it's pulling up some of it on the edges. That's what that black is, but ignore that. Then I'm going to go very light towards the middle and then barely, barely pressing on the end. So I'm doing basically a value scale with a light colored pencil. Then I would come back in with my dark color pencil and I'm going to start light and I'm going to overlap the colors. So we're kind of getting a blend here. So I'm starting very light in the middle. I'm doing circular motions to make my blends. And then I'm going to move a little bit darker to the edge. You can see the outline of my drawing underneath, I'm sorry. So this is just kind of using the pressure to blend two colors together. It has a really cool effect. It looks really nice and professional. And it takes a lot of practice to get it smooth. But that would be blending two colors together. I can even come back and go over top one more time with my yellow if I want to get a little bit stronger. Alrighty. Sorry, I forgot I need a color pencil. Now there is two more types. So this one is called burnishing. So with this one, I'm going to do the edges technique. So I'm going to go pretty dark and I'm going to go around the circle. I'm going to go around the outside using lots of pressure. Then I'm going to go light towards the center less pressure here just like the first edges one we did but now for burnishing the way you burnish it's kind of like blending them all together so this is where our handy dandy white colored pencil comes in so you can go over top and the white pencil blends your colors for you it kind of gets rid of the white space and it pulls the red into your shape and it makes everything a little bit softer obviously it's it's tinting it a little bit, but it helps blend your colors, which is a really cool trick. You kind of have to press really hard when you're going in with the white, but it makes it a little bit softer. So that's burnishing. And then the very last one, which is a really cool technique. Again, I'm going to go in doing edges. So I'm going really dark around the edges. Circular motion towards the center, doing it lighter. Sorry, I'm trying not to take too much time. I know this is a long video. Okay, so now after I have that, I'm going to get a Q-tip. And then you can use baby oil or coconut oil. Maybe vegetable. Mm, I would be careful with vegetable oil and olive oil because they're a little bit thicker. But you are going to take a Q-tip and honestly, just a little dab you do not need a lot of oil and you're going to go in on top and blend it on your color this is a really cool effect for color pencils it kind of gives it a watercolor look without it being watercolor so again this is going to be the oil effect Ta -da! so i'm going to hold it the right way up these are all our coloring techniques. So when you are doing a project in Miss Norton's class, I want to see you do these, not the no-no. So no more scribble scrabble. You can do light pressure, hard pressure, edges, blending, burnishing, directional, or oil. Can't wait to see your guys' projects. Good luck.